Hi everyone, in this video we are going to solve problems about angular velocity. The equations we need are omega, which is the angular velocity, equals delta theta, the change in the angular displacement, divided by delta t time. The measuring unit is red per second. The linear velocity v equals the angular velocity omega times r. r is the radius. v is measured in meters per second. So these are the measuring units for both kind of velocity. Omega, the angular velocity, can be determined using the frequency 2 pi f. Also, omega can be determined using the period of uh, rotation by finding 2 by divided by t, the period. The first, first problem. The outer edge of a track tire that has a radius of 45 centimeters. So this is the radius. I need to highlight it or put a circle on it. Has a velocity of 23 meters per second. Of course, this is a linear velocity v. So the given we have in this problem, r equals 45 centimeters, v equals 23 meters per second. What is the angular velocity of the tire in red per second? So we are looking for omega in red per second. But first we need to convert uh, the radius from centimeters to meter. I will use the dimensional analysis in order to get rid of centimeter, which is a numerator, I put it in denominator centimeters, and I put the unit I'm looking for in the numerator, so it's going to be meter. So one meter contains a hundred centimeters, or easily you can say 45 centimeters divided by 100, which is 0 0.45 meters. So the equation I'm going to use is this one: v equals omega r v is 23 meters per second equals omega which is an unknown and the radius is 0 0.45 so i will divide the both sides by 0 0.45 and here 0 0.45 so omega will equal 23 divided by 0 0.45 which equals 51 red per second. That's it. The second problem, a propeller spins at 1880 revolutions per minute. So this is the frequency. So the frequency equals 1880 revolutions per minute. We have to convert it into seconds. But later on. Uh, what is the angular velocity in red per second? So we are looking for omega. And what is the angular displacement uh, of the propeller in 2.5 seconds? So we are looking for delta theta, the change in displacement f delta t equals 2.5. Let's start uh, with the frequency we need to convert it into revolutions per uh, second so in this case i will get rid of minutes which is in denominator by multiplying minute uh, in the numerator and i put seconds instead in the denominator one minute equals 60 seconds so i will divide 180 1880 divided by 60 which equals so this is going to be, I will cancel minute with minute. So it will be 1880 divided by 60 revolutions per second. So this is going to be 31.3 revolutions per second. So this is the frequency. In order to find omega using the frequency, omega equals 2 pi f. So 2 pi times the frequency which is 31.3 equals 197 red 
per second. So this is the angular uh, velocity. Now to find the displacement or the angular displacement, we will use this equation omega equals delta theta, the angular displacement, divided by delta t, which is time. So by substitution, omega is 90, 197 equals delta theta, which is an unknown, divided by delta t, which is 2.5 seconds. So delta theta equals 197 times 2.5. So delta theta equals 492. Right. That's it. Thank you.